Why do you think it was so powerful that you weren't American and connected with Americans? Do you think that there was something there? And how did this journey um, impact you? Well, I think, I, I think the latter half answers the first half, is I think because I went without an agenda, without a goal of trying to convince people of something, um, and that I was just exploring my own human humanity, because I felt I respect your religious view, but is it not possible, that same question I kept asking, is it not possible for others to have an, an, a, a beautiful religious experience? And I, it was really bothering me that you couldn't see the beauty in, in another tradition. Um, until after three days, I guess I was just exhausted, um, I, I, I was asking myself, why am I trying so hard? Why do I care? And am I not just as much proselytizing to him as he is to me? And then when I really just relaxed about it, and I said, well, he's not violent. Um, let him believe what he believes. Then I could relax. And then I actually found, we became really good friends, Jason and I, that he's such a kind person. He lets homeless people into his, his home. Um, he, he's courageous. He prays for people on the street. He does, he does things that I don't do. So I've been able to learn from him as well. As well. So I had to really explore my own prejudices. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a beautiful aspect of, of, of humanity and, and I think every society has so much beauty and so much to offer. And uh, I think with Egyptians and Arabs, there is this, this hospitality. Um, you feel it as well in a lot of Mediterranean countries. And, and um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say. It was just deeply, deeply moving.